Welcome to NFL Freestyle, the show where I get six minutes to cover three topics in the NFL. Make sure to comment your suggestions below. There is no criteria. Now let's get started. Dallas is in trouble. Next offseason, they're slated to have roughly $65 million in cap space. Now typically, that's a good chunk of change for teams. However, the following players will be unrestricted free agents in March. Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Zach Martin, and Demarcus Lawrence. Let's not forget either that Micah Parsons will be playing on his fifth year option this season. And he's already said he's worth 40 plus million dollars per year. I believe CeeDee Lamb is going to want a contract similar to that of Justin Jefferson's and he received a four year $140 million contract averaging $35 million a season. I doubt Dak Prescott is going to reset the quarterback market, but his value still safely sits around $51 million per season. Not factoring in the other players I mentioned and all the other free agents Dallas is set to have, it really seems unlikely they're going to be able to make this work. But the question is, who gets voted off the island? Now if I had to take a guess, it's going to be C.D. Lamb. Dak Prescott is the cornerstone of this franchise, whether you want to admit it or not. Jerry Jones loves him as well, so that plays in his favor. Micah Parsons is a generational talent on the defensive side of the ball and they are not going to let him go. And wide receiver is the most expendable of these three positions, so I think C.D. Lamb is not going to get that type of money he wants from Dallas, but from somewhere else. However, Jerry Jones could maybe pull off another magic trick, has something left up his sleeve, and keep all three of these superstars. Let me know your thoughts down below. Christian McCaffrey entered the league in 2017, being drafted by the Carolina Panthers. Aside from a few injury setbacks, he has been nothing short of sensational. In 2019, he had 1,400 rushing yards and 1,000 receiving yards. He was then traded to the San Francisco 49ers in 2022, and just last year, he had 2,000 total yards and 20 touchdowns. His performance that won him Offensive Player of the Year helped the Niners play for the Lombardi Trophy, but unfortunately, they ran into Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, again. San Francisco awarded the three-time All-Pro a record-setting two-year extension worth $38 million. He'll be entering his 28-year-old season, but McCaffrey does not seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Now let's assume he records 1,200 rushing yards and 350 receiving yards each season for the next four years, which are very modest numbers, by the way. Assuming he were to record those stats, CMC would rank 12th all-time in rushing and receiving yards, only behind some of the league's greatest names of all time. If he were to retire today, I think hands down he would be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's got football encoded in his DNA, and I will not be surprised when he is compared to the likes of Emmitt Smith, Walter Payton, and Barry Sanders. Darren Waller was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in the sixth round of the 2015 NFL Draft as a wide receiver. He was considered a depth piece for the franchise. Waller would spend his rookie season on the injured reserve list. In 2016, he converted to tight end but was also suspended for violating the NFL's substance abuse policy. And in the following season, Darren Waller would receive another suspension for the same offense, this time being an entire season. He would eventually complete his rehabilitation program in 2018, but would be waived by the Baltimore Ravens and signed to their practice squad. The then Oakland Raiders would take a flyer on the tight end, but he would see little action that season. But, with a full season of sobriety under his belt, the former practice squad player would blossom into a star. Between 2019 and 2020, Darren Waller would reel in 197 targets for 2,341 yards and 12 touchdowns. Despite a slow 2021 campaign, the Raiders locked up their star tight end on a three-year $51 million contract that would make him the league's highest paid tight end. After yet another disappointing season, Las Vegas would trade Waller to the New York Giants for a third round pick. And in the 2023 season, Darren Waller would again find himself on the injured reserve list with the Giants. Finally, on June 9th, 2024, Darren Waller officially announced his retirement from the NFL. His playing career may be over, however I encourage each and every one of you to read about his inspiring career to sobriety. Now that's it, three topics in six minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave your suggestions for the next video down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.